Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to use ExpressVPN, whether it's for streaming, torrenting, or gaming. And I'll also talk a little bit about some of its features and how they can be helpful for your situation. Now, Express is a fairly intuitive VPN. It's pretty much plug and play. But this five to 10 minute video is gonna cover quite literally everything you need to know to go ahead and start using Express. But if you wanna know more about this VPN, I'll drop a link to an in-depth review in the description down below, as well as a special discount if you wanna save yourself a little bit of money if you choose to get yourself a subscription. With that being said, on with the video. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, ExpressVPN is very simple to use. After you sign up for a subscription and install the app, all you really need to do is open up Express, click on this on off icon right here, and you'll be automatically connected to the best VPN server depending on your location. And if you want to switch it off, just click the icon again and close the app. Very simple very intuitive. Now let's say you wanted to watch a Netflix show that's only available in a specific country. Take Japan, for example. Since I know that there are a lot of Japan exclusive shows over there, all you need to do is click over here, click on VPN locations, Asia Pacific, click on Japan, and then click on the on icon. Once you're connected, give the page a quick refresh and you'll be good to go. And if you want to be extra sure that your IP address did change, you can check it on whatsmyip.com and it should display that you're in Japan. One thing I want to mention is that Express is probably the best VPN for accessing streaming platforms. It has over 3,000 servers in 105 countries, giving you a lot of options to work with. Now, if you're a gamer, there's a neat little trick you can do to potentially shave off around 20 milliseconds off your base ping. For starters, try to look up where your gaming server is located. I play Valorant myself and I live in Europe, so the closest server to me is going to be the one located in the UK. Now, all I really need to do is connect to a VPN server close to the gaming server. In this case, Express has a UK server, so I'll go ahead and connect to that. Also, keep in mind that you have to use ExpressVPN's fastest performing protocol, Lightway UDP, to get yourself the best results. To change that, go to Options, Protocol, and click on Lightway UDP. Oh, and as far as torrenting goes, there's not much you need to do since all ExpressVPN servers are optimized for peer-to-peer -peer activities. Just make sure that you have your kill switch on, as it would immediately sever your internet connection should you accidentally disconnect from the VPN which would prevent any data from leaking out. This feature is a must have if you live in a censorship heavy country or if you don't want your ISP snooping on your activity. Now, streaming, torrenting, and gaming are not all you can do with a VPN. In fact, its main purpose is to protect your data and make sure that you're the only person who knows what you're doing online. And the way it works is by encrypting your traffic and routing it through a secure tunnel, which would prevent your ISP, government, and pretty much anyone else from prying on your activity. With that being said, since VPNs deal directly with sensitive data, you're gonna need a reliable VPN that has a strict no logs policy and operates on RAM only servers that cannot store any data in the first place. You also want your VPN to be audited by independent firms, since pretty much anyone can claim that they don't log any data, but very few can actually back up their claims. And here, ExpressVPN fits the bill quite well. In fact, ExpressVPN is the most secure VPN on the market due to an incident back in 2017, where one of their servers was seized by the Turkish government as part of an ongoing investigation, only for them to find nothing, which proves Express's commitment to their policies. All right, now that we talked about the different ways you can use Express, I wanna show you a couple of neat features that Express has. The first is gonna be the kill switch I talked about earlier, which I recommend you always leave on. It won't affect your experience at all and would guarantee no one can snoop on your activity. As for the second feature, that's gonna be split tunneling. Now this feature would allow you to pick which apps you want to pass through the VPN tunnel and which ones use your normal internet connection. I personally use this feature on my torrenting software so that my ISP won't throttle my connection while everything else is using my normal connection. Okay, so the way to set this up is by pressing on options, and at the bottom in the general tab, you'll find split tunneling, click on settings, and here it would give you three options. The first one is going to be pretty much setting up everything to use the VPN. The second one allows you to choose apps that use the VPN. And the third one is basically the exact opposite, as you choose which apps are excluded from the VPN tunnel. Pretty self-explanatory. Okay, so besides that, you want to make sure you're using the lightweight UDP protocol, since, as I mentioned earlier, it's Express's best protocol. Generally speaking, any WireGuard type of protocol will be the best, and lightweight UDP is sort of like Express. Express's version of WireGuard, which is the fastest protocol out there. But if you don't want to bother changing protocols, you can just leave it on automatic, and that would do just fine. That's all you need to know about WireGuard. It's an advanced type of protocol that makes everything much easier, faster, and more reliable, and more secure. You can read about the protocol if you're interested, but that's really all you need to know to operate a VPN. Other than that, you also have other features that can be very useful with ExpressVPN, like the advanced protection here, which will block trackers, malicious sites, and ads. You can also block adult sites if you want to use it as a form of parental control if you have kids, so that's pretty useful. And that's basically all you need to know about ExpressVPN for the most part. But if you'd like to learn a little bit more, you can check out the review down below. And that's basically it. So if you guys are interested in ExpressVPN, again, you'll find the full review down below if you want to learn more. 
and you'll also find a special discount linked in the description if you end up picking it up. Now, out of curiosity, I did ask Express, and it seems like most people end up spending way more money on the monthly plan, thinking they're just not going to need the VPN for more than a month, but they just keep renewing it monthly. But if you actually opt for the yearly plan, you'll notice that the rate goes down by almost half. So if you know you need the VPN for just a month, by all means, go ahead and get the monthly plan. And even then, you can still get your refund if you're not satisfied for whatever reason. But if you know you're going to need a VPN for more than just a month, then you definitely want to go with something like the one-year plan and with the link below, you'll be getting 15 months instead of just 12. And that'll be all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the links in the description to grab yourself the best discounts possible. Like and subscribe to see more of these videos. And let me know in the comments if there's anything cybersecurity you'd like me to cover. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.